Morning, little red tractor. <laughs> it's my day off, and as a special treat, you're going to get a full wash and polish. Now, who will be calling me on my day off? Hello? Oh, Mr Jones, how are you? Really? Oh, really? Oh, I see. We'll be right over. I'm sorry, but your wash and polish is going to have to wait. Mr Jones has bought a new baler and it seems to be broken. I can't understand a word of these instructions. Maybe what it needs is a little tap. Oh. Ah! Morning, Stan. Uh, sorry to bother you on your day off, but a spot of bother with the bailer here. Well, I'll be happy to have a look, Mr. Jones, but... I've tried everything, of course. Oil, fuel... And, and I'm sure you've tried pushing this. What's that? The starter? Starter? Oh, must be your magic touch stem. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Um, maybe one of those biscuits? Missed breakfast, you see. Oh, sorry, Stanley. <coughs> Last one. <laughs> no, thanks. I'll be off now. I'll promise Little Red Tractor a day of pampering. Hello? Oh, hi, Laura. Really? Oh, dear. Well, of course, we'll pop over now. Hmm, problem, Stan? No. Laura has accidentally broken one of her husband's model sail ships. I'm going to pop over and try and fix it before he gets home. Come on, Little Red Tractor. Let's go. Oh, dear. I do feel bad about spoiling Stan's deal. <laughs> Morning, Veronica. Hi, Stan. Hi, Mr. Red Tractor. Stan, I'm so glad you're here. I know it's your day off, but... I oh, that's quite all right. I was only planning to give Little Red Tractor a clean and a polish. We could do that. Couldn't we, Ryan? Oh, yeah. Can we? I don't see why not. Now, let's have a look at this boat. What do you think? I think I can make that as good as new. Oh, great. Well, you get yourself comfortable and I'll prepare some lunch. It's the least I can do. Oh, thanks. I'm starving. Strange. Oh, come on, Sparky. There's nothing wrong with you. I only finished your service yesterday. Oh, no! I don't believe it. You've run out of petrol. Oh, what am I like? It won't be long before you're back on the road. I've been told you... Hello? You've broken down? In our breakdown truck? Oh, my, you are in a pickle. What was what noise? Oh, uh, 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 nothing, nothing. Uh, well, I can't leave the garage just now. Well, call Stan or Mr Jones. Well, they'll be sure to give you a tow bag. Well, must get on. Uh, see you shortly. Stop that now. But, Stan, you can't go without any lunch. Well, Nicola has run out of petrol, I'm afraid. She needs a tow back to the garage. I'll grab a snack later. Oh, poor Stan. This is supposed to be his day off. Sorry, we've got another job. But what about his wash? We've only just started. I know. It's been that kind of a day, I'm afraid. Come on, little red tractor. Nicola needs our help. Thanks for fixing the boat, Stan. My pleasure. See you later. Bye. Poor Stan works far too hard. Now he's missed his lunch. And Little Red Tractor missed his wash. Stan will do anything for anybody. Well, maybe we could do something for him. 
Like what? We could fix him up a lovely supper. And I can pick him some of my flowers. We should do something for Little Red Tractor too. Hmm, I think I've got an idea. Not long now. Stand on his way and we'll get you home. Hi, Dad. No, he's on his way. Should be here any second. I've been speaking to Laura Turvey, and do you know, Stan has spent his whole day off helping just about everyone. What clanking? Anyway, we were thinking we should organise a little surprise, so I need you to hold him up for a while, OK? Hold him up? That shouldn't be a problem. Am I glad to see you. Thanks for coming out. No problem. Did you bring a tow rope? Better than that. I stopped off at the farm and brought you a can of petrol so we can get you home quicker. Oh, uh, yes, that was a good idea. So we'll be on our way in no time, eh? Great. What was that? My stomach. Sorry, it's just every time I've planned to eat today, something has happened to stop me. I'm starving. Oh, and now I've held you up. I'll make it up to you, I promise. No problem. I'm supposed to delay him. Must think of something. Oh. Stan, let me get the petrol cab off for you. Oh, I don't seem to be able to unscrew it. Well, here, let me have a go. How strange. It's not locked, is it? Locked? No, I don't think so. Oh, fit for a king. Little Red Tractor won't believe his eyes when he sees this. How are we doing with the supper? All finished. Well done, you two. Stan will love this. We have all of his favourites. Thanks, Dad. We'll be there in about five minutes. We've got the all clear now. Maybe it's time to unlock the petrol cap. Um, sorry, Nicola. I've tried just about everything to get this thing off. Let me have one more go. Maybe you've loosened it. Look! Well done. You're stronger than you look. Wow, how about that? Well, now we can get the petrol in and all get home. I'm so hungry. Stan, I hate to be a nuisance, but would you follow me back to the garage just in case anything else happens? Well, I'm sure you'll be fine now. Oh, please. OK. I can't wait to see his face. Stan won't believe it. Wait, I think I can hear them. Welcome to the Beach Garage Wash and Polish Service for very special red tractors. What's all this? Well, we decided that both of you are always doing things for us and it was about time we did something in return. Oh, that's great, but you didn't have to. We wanted to. Now, if you'll leave Little Red Tractor here, I have another surprise for you. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Beach Garage Cafe. Oh, this is fantastic. And I am starving. We can soon take care of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a tractor to polish. Well, of course. This is to say thank you for always being so willing to help any of us when we need you. I grew the flowers myself. And I laid the table. The lemonade is from Mr Jones, and I've made the cakes with the flour from Stumpy's windmill. Something from everyone. Well, I'll never forget this day off, that's for sure. How are you doing, little red tractor? That's it, little red tractor. Nice Stan! work. Stan! Stan! Ryan and Amy, what are you two doing here? Stan, you know the Bubble Brook Fair? I should say so. Tomorrow, isn't it? I'm looking forward to it. So are we, and we've had an idea. Have you? You know how there's a procession every year with fancy dress and stuff? Yes. We think a little red tractor should enter. We could dress him up. Dress him up as a dragon. A dragon, eh? What do you think, little red tractor? <laughs> Sounds like he reckons it's a good idea. Yay! He's, He's going, going to be, be a, dragon. a dragon. He's, He's going, going to be, be a dragon. dragon. But not until we've finished our work. <laughs> there. Now, if that don't win first prize in the procession, I don't know what... Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! 
Oh, Elsie, oh, nearly gave me the fright of my life. I could say the same thing. What's that? <laughs> Good, isn't it? <laughs> I reckon as how me and Nipper are going to win first prize at the fair. That's Nipper. Ah, and I'm going to take him down to show Stan. Stumpy, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, how can you see where you're going? But I've got a nice view through the eye holes. See you later, Elsie! Oh, why do I get the feeling this is going to end in tears? Right, that's the ploughing all done. Now, let's get started on our dragon. Yeah! We'll need some wood and some cardboard, string and sticky tape. You're going to be the scariest dragon that ever was. <laughs> Rotten, useless lump of... I'm getting tired of this. Right. Oh. That's no good. Ryan and Amy not with you, Mrs Turvey? Not today, Nicola, no. They're up at stands. They're turning Little Red Tractor into a dragon for the Babblebrook procession. A dragon? Ooh, my word. A dragon? What's this all about? A dra... Oh, not again. And I really thought I'd got it going this time. Oh, dear. Trouble? No, it's just Dad's old car. He's been trying to get it going again, with the usual results. Now, it was charcoal you were after, wasn't it? One bag or two? That's coming along nicely. It's going to look great when it's all painted. Hope so. Hello. Sounds like Nipper. What? Oh, help! Oh, for the lights! Uh -oh. oh, I can't Sounds see! Sounds like trouble. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, what happened? Looks like you crashed into a clown, Stumpy. Oh, bother. Oh. Took me ages to make that. I was going to win first prize in the procession with my clown's head. You could make another one. No, it'd take too long. Fair's tomorrow, and I got to mill some corn for Mr Jones later on. You painted it really well, too. Why don't you help us, Stumpy? Go on. We're making Little Red Tractor into a dragon for the procession. Oh, are you now? We could do with a good painter. Oh, I'd be glad to help. Well, come on, then. Let's get back to work. Well, you're really going to look the business, little red tractor. <laughs> Just as soon as I get your costume painted. There. Not bad, though I say so myself. Ah, but it's not quite finished yet. It looks finished to me, Stan. Not until it's got its roar, it isn't. I used to fix these to my bike wheels when I was a nipper. Oh, my goodness, is that the time? Oh, I'd better be off. I got Mr Jones coming round with his corn in a couple of minutes. Oh, i nearly forgotten all the excitement. Um, see you, Stan. Bye, kids. Bye, Bye Stumpy. Stumpy. Look out, Stumpy. <laughs> There you go, Mr Jones. All filled up. Thanks, Nicola. Just got to get this corn to Stumpy and then feet up in the garden. Looking forward to the village fair, Mr Jones? Village fair? Dear me, no. Not a fuss about nothing. One tacky hoopla boo, the bring and buy stall and a speech from the mayor. No, not my idea of an exciting day out at all. Well, I reckon it's going to be quite exciting this year. I heard Mrs Turvey saying there was going to be a dragon there. <laughs> A dragon. <laughs> yes, a dragon. See, Mrs Turvey told me that... Mrs Turvey told you, did she? Well, that's the trouble with you country folk. Too easily taken in by stories like that. Here it is. Not a real dragon, you great... Language, Nicola. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Elsie. Stumpy here is him. Not just at the moment, but I'm sure he'll be back soon. He knows about your corn. I don't know. You country folk. We country folk what? The stories you tell. Just a few minutes ago, Walter and Nicola were spinning some cock and bull story about a dragon. A dragon, if you please, when everyone knows there's no such thing as a dragon. They are the stuff of folklore and fairy tales. Well, round these parts, we don't take talk of dragons so lightly. 
Boy, my old dad caught a dragon once. Big green and it were. Absolute tosh. Tosh piffle and boulder dash. <laughs> if you say so, Mr. Jones. I do. Stumpy, what happened to your clown's head? Oh. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> Bit of an accident. Clown's head. Dragons. Dear, dear me. I don't think I'll ever get the hang of country living. I'll be back in a couple of days to fetch the flower, Stumpy. Eh? Mm. Yes, and thank you too. Stumpy, what was that nonsense about your dad catching a dragon? Well, it wasn't nonsense. He did catch one. <laughs> a dragon fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stumpy. <laughs> There. You're all dragoned up, little red tractor. And now it's time I got you two home. But perhaps we ought to make sure that our dragon roars first, eh? Oh, yes! Yes, please, Dan. There we go, Amy. Now you, Ryan. Hey! Now that's what I call a roar. Now this is the part of the country life I do enjoy. Last rays of sun in the evening, the smell of the... the... Hello? What's that? Don't tell me Stan's let his bull out of the field again. What on earth can it... No, no, it can't be. <laughs> It's a dr dragon! Ah, help! It's a dragon! A dragon! Please, no. I don't want to end up as a dragon's dinner. Mr. Jones? S Stan, has it gone? Has what gone? The dragon, I saw it big and fierce, and it was going to eat me up. <laughs> oh, Mr. Jones. <laughs> What's so funny? There's no dragon, Mr. Jones. It's Little Red Tractor. <laughs> oh, it's... Uh, uh, it's, it's my little joke. I, 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 I knew it was Little Red Tractor. <laughs> There's no such thing as dragons, eh? <laughs> you may be small, little red tractor, but you're a champion dragon. I just can't understand it, Stan. The scarecrow seems to keep the birds away, but every morning I come by and still my crops are damaged. Maybe it isn't the birds. No, it's the birds, all right. I think they wait until I'm not looking. I was out with my torch last night, couldn't spot any of them. Last night? The birds don't... Stan! Stan! Are you there? Sounds like Ryan and Amy. Hello. Where are you two off to, then? Mum's taking us to Bubblebrook to see the lights. Already? But the autumn's hardly over. Guess who's turning on the lights? Hmm, now, let me see. Boombox Hammer! Is that a person? Sounds like a toolbox. Oh, Stan, he's the best! Don't you ever listen to the charts? We thought you'd like to come with us. Well, I'm sure, bing, bang... Boombox Hammer! Well, I'm sure Boom What's-His-Name is great, but I have work to do. Thanks for asking, though. OK. We'll try and get you a signed picture. See ya! Bye, Stan! I must be getting old. I don't recognise any of the pop stars these days. You know, Stan, I think I may have just had a brilliant idea. Well, I'll leave you to it, Mr Jones. I have to pick up Little Red Tractor from the garage. Need a lift? No, thank you. The walk will do me good. OK, you pesky crop-eating birds. Ryan and Amy have given me an idea. Hello. Seems a bit quiet. What's a telescope doing here? Stan, how are you? Good. What's with the telescope? Didn't you see it? See what? A UFO. A spaceship? Yeah. There were flashing lights in the sky last night. I saw them clear as day. 
I think you're going potty. That's funny. That's what Nicola said. Why do you think a spaceship would choose to come to Beach Garage? Maybe they needed petrol. <laughs> <laughs> you, won't, you won't be laughing when I'm in the papers. The first man to photograph a real UFO. Little Red Tractor's all done and he's running better than ever. Thanks, Nicola. He's round the back. Hey! Very funny, Nicola. Sorry, Dad. You really think your spaceship will be back tonight? If it is, I plan to get a good photograph of it. Thanks, Nicola. Call me if you see anything, Walter. Oh, sure, yeah. Come on, then. Work to do. <laughs> Hi there. I thought you were all in Babblebrook for the lights. It was cancelled, I'm afraid. Blue Box Hammer's got a sore throat, so he couldn't make it. And then the mayor tried to turn the lights on, and they didn't work. Oh, you do look down in the dumps. Let's see if I can't think of something to cheer you up. But you're not a pop star, Stan. And you don't have any lights. True, but I may have a surprise up my sleeve. Oh, dear, the bulb must have gone. I'll never find anything in here without any light. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I'm full of bright ideas today. <laughs> right, all we have to do is find those other lights. Ah, here we go. Oh, only one light left. I wonder where the others went. It's getting darker. Oh, well, we'll, um... Hey, hold on. They may have some at the garage. Come on, little red tractor. We'll have to be quick. Walter will be closing soon. Well, that's me all set. You're not really going to sit out here in the cold all night, are you, Dad? I have my flask, Nicola, and my sarnies, and I shall be fine. It's not every day you get to see a UFO. True. Most people never see them at all. Hello. Back so soon? I was hoping you might have some Christmas lights. I want to make a surprise for Ryan and Amy. Oh, you won't believe it, Stan. We sold the last lot this afternoon. Oh, dear. I was hoping to get some this evening. Mr Jones bought them. Five boxes. All we had. Five boxes of lights? Whatever for? Search me. He seemed very excited, though. He's back. It's back! What is? The UFO! And you didn't believe me! Potter, you said! Look! See for yourself! How strange. It's a UFO! I knew it! I've never seen anything like it. It seems to be coming from somewhere over by Beach Farm. Wow! You're right! I'm going to investigate. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and see what's going on. Come on, little red tractor. Don't be a scaredy cat. See you later. Oh, let me camera. Oh, oh, the quick. Well, I need to get a photo. Oh, hey. <laughs> now that's funny. That's exactly what happened last night. Ah, now that seems to have done the trick. Are you there, Mr. Jones? Back here, stand by the gate. This may seem like a silly question. But what are you doing? Told you about the birds eating my crops when well, I came up with a wizard way to stop them. I can't wait to hear. Well, the scarecrow was working fine during the day, but at night, nothing. So, I remember the children talking about the Christmas lights and thought... That you'd use the lights to keep the birds off your crops through the night. Precisely. And as you can see, no birds. Mr Jones? Yes? Birds don't come out at night. They sleep. Sleep? Ah, y yes. Um, they sleep. Of course they sleep, but... but oh, but, but not owls, Tim. They are awake at night eating my crops. Mice. Owls don't eat crops. They eat mice. Ah, so, I am just lighting up my field for no reason. I'm afraid so. Although it does look lovely. 
Walter at the garage is convinced your light show here is a UFO. What a fool I am. To think I bought five boxes of lights. Not to worry. I'll buy them off you. I have a good use for them. It's a deal, Stan. As, um... <clears throat> As long as you don't tell anyone about uh, the birds and the night thing, hmm? It may be too late for that, Mr Jones. You've lit up the whole neighbourhood. I... No, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I had a hard job believing it myself. I've never seen a whole field lit up like a Christmas tree before. I'll never forget it. Neither will I. I took 36 pictures of it. <laughs> well, look on the bright side. Hard not to with all those lights in the field, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, we shouldn't laugh. Mr Jones was quite upset when I told him birds sleep through the night. Well, at least they can sleep now. I've told Amy and Ryan to come over later and we'll have a turning on ceremony and then roasted chestnuts over a real fire. There. All done. Good. Thanks for your help, Walter. Everything is set. Hi, Stan. Wow, look at all the lights. My, you have been busy. We're all ready for the turning on ceremony. Yeah, switch them on. Actually, we're going to leave that job to our celebrities. Ryan and Amy. All together now? Three, Three two, two, one, go! Wow, it looks great! Thanks, Dan. My pleasure. Now, who wants roast chestnuts? Me! Oh, I nearly forgot. I have one more surprise. What is it? Come on, you two. One more little job for our celebrities. Flick this switch here. Who needs boombox hammer when we have our own shining star? 